My friend, hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lesson, I want to say you uh, about test ng framework. So if you go to search Google, like just you put something like test ng, something like this, and then you hit enter. So you can see uh, in very top is we we have the link to open this page, the home page of the test ng dot here. So the test ng you can see from the definition is a testing framework. Okay, it's easy testing framework. So why do we need it? You can read all the detail here, but let me keep it simple and then tell you the main reason why do we need it first, okay? So just go back to your test project and then you can open any test that we have before. So in this case, let me try to open the set value with the pair of test model and the component here, you can see. So what we have before, we create this uh, main method here, and then we put every logic inside our main method. And what we do, we, what we did that we hit on this button, or we can try to run it from here, from the main method. But the things here in the real application, I mean in the real automation test project, you have a many, many test class, maybe thousand. I have seen some projects have uh, over 1,000 test cases in the project. And then we just have a only one main method in our Java project as an entry point, right? So if you want to have something like, you know, you manage you everything, and then in the main project, you will try to have some way to put all of the text here inside. It's just, you know, cumbersome. Combustion. And for example, you have something like related to the test category, something you want to run regression test, regression test. Uh, sometimes you want to run smart test or something like that. And how can you categorize them correctly? And then for, for example, you want to run something before the test method, something after the test method, like you want to prepare the test data. And then after you test, you delete the prepared test data. How can you do it, right? I mean, technically you can do it, but it should be cumbersome if you don't have uh, any framework to manage those things. So that's why we need the tech team framework. A tech team framework will, will help us to do it. So in this case, I propose the very famous uh, tech team framework in Java and Selenium is it tech entry. So people can use change units as well, but in this tutorial, we can use tech entry, okay? So, how can we set it up? We already have that from previous session, if you still remember. So if you open the bomb file here, and then you can see we have one thing here. Actually, we, we didn't have this fully, but I have one thing here. If you open the build session here, let me try to expand. Uh, and then I will try to collapse the build plugin here. And then this in the this is the plugin to help us to run our test with the Maven project. We need the Maven Surefire plugin here to run the test. And of course, we need to download the test entry, uh, which not download because we already have a Maven here. So we need to input the dependency information for the test entry, right? So let's try to open and then we can have something like, you know, uh, we don't need to open the new tab, just put something like, uh, Maven repository here. Hit enter, and then you go here, and then you just have the tag entry. Enter. So this is the one we want to have. Okay. So this is the tag entry, and I think we are very good to you this one, the latest one in this case, uh, seven dot four here. Just click on it, go back here, and put it in the dependency here. Now, uh, you can do a command like, like Maven clean install, but in this case, I want to hit the Maven button here, and then it will refresh and download the dependency for me. So in this case, I want, uh, I think we already have the tech engine here, okay? So now, just go back to a new uh, in the test package here, and this is the bomb file. Let me try to create a new package. So in this case, I will create a new package with test.test and G basis, okay? You can create a new um, package with all the name, okay? So in this case, I will select something like login, simple like that. 
And what I do, I will try to copy all the thing here. Uh, I will modify something, but I will copy all the thing here first. And then I will put here, I will delete the package name, try to expand, try to rename. The class name is the login here, delete it here. Now, I will try to remove the main methods because as uh, as um, as of now, um, you know, I'm going to use the cat ng framework, so I don't want to do this anymore. So let me try to remove the main like public void, uh, and then I delete this one, and then I will have something like login uh, with correct credential. So this is my first decade. So how can I, you know, I mark this method as a test case. I will do the thing we call annotation, okay? We call something like annotation. So we have many annotation from test entry. And in this case, I will do the annotation test. So you can see we have the test from test entry annotations here. I click here. So at the time I run with the test entry, when I have an annotation with the test here, the test engine will understand this is a test method and it will try help me to execute. And the thing here that we have in the blocking here, this is the true file blocking, we understand that we have a test. Uh, and then if you try to help us the, to run the, the test for us, because at the end, you see, we compile something in the directory target here. So we need some blocking to run the test after that. Okay. So now how to run it? So you need, basically, you need to have a test configuration like we had before. Actually, we didn't do it, uh, you know, um, we didn't do it uh, obviously, but we, we did it, okay, we did it. And then we have some configuration here. So there are two ways. If you hit the run button here, you see the run button here, it will automatically create a new one for you, but I want to show you manually way. Okay, so you hit here and you click on edit configuration. Now you click on the plus button here and then you scroll to the bottom. I think not the bottom, but we will have something like the tech engine. You see here, tech engine, you click to select it and then you have something like login. This is the name for the tech case. So in this case, it should be uh, login, some, just something like that. And the tech type here, the class. That's we run all the tests in the class. So in this case, I just want to run one method inside. And the class, I put login and then control space. It's few success for us the login class from test that ng basic here. And then I will uh, get the methods login, control space here. And there's some other thing related to environment, variable, something like that. But actually, we we are not using any uh, environment variable, so we can leave all of them blank here. And I hit on the apply here, I hit on the OK here. So now you can see we can select any any test that you save here from the tag configuration here and run it. So I click on the login here, I hit on the run button here. That means I run this test configuration, okay? So I hit on the run button. Now, but before doing that, you need to start the APM server first, okay? because I only discard it from the previous lesson. So now after I hit the run button, the Maven will build the new things for us here. And then after that, it will start the, the test for us. So you can see it's saying the capability. Let me try to open the visor app here. And then you can see what's going on, whether the test is going well or not. So it's trying to open, you know, the target application. Okay, everything is just perfect. And you see on the left here, you can see we have some result here from the test engine. Very, very beautiful, right? So this is the basic how to uh, create a new test class, a new test methods with the test engine. So in the next lesson, I will share you, you know, how to, um, I will share you something related to all the annotation.
um, from the text entry and then you can understand more what's the annotation in the text entry. Okay, so bye for now and see you in the next lesson.